At first glance, you might think Western Iowa isn't all that rich with colorful or impressive art, but one group thinks Council Bluffs is among the best when it comes to this topic. It's all the same. It's all some kind of storytelling, some kind of emotion. When you first pull in Council Bluffs, art probably isn't the first thing you notice. But now, the National Center for Arts Research ranks the city number six on the list of most vibrant art communities. You know, it's, it's fun to be a part of a community that is into the arts, where it's getting more and more recognized, and having a community that we can all kind of reach out to each other, and it's great to be in a community where you know, it's it's getting some recognition finally. Art gallery owner Trey Johnson isn't all that impressed though. It's interesting. Uh, there's a lot of cool public art around. Um, I th mean, I always think that there could be more done um, or more awareness of what's out there. But it's not all about visual craft. Wednesday night, Bayless Park was filled with people enjoying a local jazz band. One band member says he's seen the music come and go in the area and hopes this list could do some good for festival goers. They used to do this thing called First Night. A lot of the venues and places right around the park had something going on in them. So it was definitely something I, I hope they could get a chance to revive. For now, Council Bluffs is home to 31 pieces of art, from the fountains in this plaza to that gateway bridge going west giving Western Iowa some claim to fame when it comes to the arts. Reporting in Council Bluffs, Alex McLoon, 3 News Now.